A lot of people would assume that science journalists in countries such as China, Russia and Saudi Arabia would face problems in exploring the area of investigative journalism. It came as a surprise to many when journalists from countries such as Canada and United States spoke about their obstacles in the field. Phil Hiltz from Night Science Journalism Program at MIT dismissed the assumption as he moderated the Secret Science Panel at the World Science Journalism Conference 2011. Yes, that's a general idea because what you see so much is a flow of information. You realize that there's a great deal of information. What you don't see is when the information is not there. And that's the subject here. Margaret Munro spoke intensively about the challenges faced in developed countries such as Canada. In Canada, we really have traditionally had a very open system. But there's been some major changes in the last few years. You know, the Canadian government has been, in the recent years, silencing its scientists. And it's taken this, these measures to, you know, really new extremes. And to the point where Canadian government scientists are no longer really allowed to speak to scientists freely. Journalists and media personnel from various countries who attended the panel discussion were surprised by the disclosure. Absolutely not. No, I was really surprised. I mean, I expected it in China and, and Russia, but to hear that it was in Canada, which has always been seen as politically neutral and kind of like a safe haven for everyone, it was kind of it was a bit of a shock to hear that, yeah, their scientists were um, being, sh um, you know, crushed muzzled. The panel ended with panelists and participants making a commitment to network as they continue their struggle for the truth. Rinalda Raviraj, reporting from Northwestern University in Qatar.